Hey guys, this is Martin. I'm the Hungarian ambassador of Oppo, and in this super quick video, I'm going to show you what Android KitKat looks like on ColorOS 2.0.0. This is an international build that is available for the Oppo Find 7 and the 7A. It should come to you, uh, the, as in the public, in, I don't know, like a day or so. It should be very soon. So you should be able to download and install this on your phone as well. Um, so let's jump right into this. Okay, so all of the things that we had before on the Colorist 1.2, they basically work on this one as well. If they don't, I'll tell you. Uh, so we can double tap to lock the screen and then double tap to unlock again. You can see that the first thing here is the default uh, lock screen has been changed to swiping up. And also they have added three buttons here. Uh, you should be able to see a message button, a home button, and a call button right there. So uh, what is what this means, obviously, is if you just pull up, uh, it will just unlock the phone. If you pull up from the messages, it will bring you to your messages, obviously. And then if you pull up from your, or using the phone icon, it will put you in your dialer. So there's your home screen, uh, your lock screen. Uh, also, I think I just forgot to say, yeah, you can of course swipe in from the right, or, yeah, from the right to bring your camera and then from the left to get your widgets. So that still works. Um, now that we're here, we can see the, this is the standard layout. So I haven't changed nearly anything uh, on this phone yet. I just changed the wallpaper, but it's a stock wallpaper as well. I wanted to give you guys uh, a feel for what this phone will come like or look like when when uh, when it comes to you. Uh, so let's start on top. You can see that some of the icons, like this battery icon, has been redesigned and the clock has been moved to the center. I actually prefer it on the right, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. And also, what is cool is this this thing on the left. It is uh, something you have to set in the settings, so it won't come uh, by default, but in the settings you can turn it on. And it is basically an indicator for network speeds, uh, so it shows both up and download network speeds. And I guess it was taken over from MIUI, I, I believe they were the first to implement it. If I'm wrong, please correct me. But anyway, it's nice to have it here. I, I think it's a very handy tool for monitoring things. So, uh, let's pull this guy down and... Um, you will see that not a lot has changed here, but there are a few changes, a couple of redesigns of the icons, like the screen rotation one and so on. But also, finally, the top right corner has been filled, in my case with a flashlight. And also, a handy thing here, at least compared to the 1.2, that on the Wi-Fi here, it doesn't just say Wi-Fi, but when you're, when you're on a Wi-Fi connected to a, a network, it will actually say the name of the network here. So that is a pretty convenient little addition. So let's push this up. Before we get into the launcher, let's check out the multitasking screen. So this is pretty standard ColorOS 2.0. We've seen this before if we have seen ColorOS 2.0 builds before, but uh, this is what it looks like. I guess it's kind of like Windows Phone, or if you want to say it's also a bit like Apple, but it does look nice. It is pretty fluid and it works pretty well. So you can pull it down to to lock applications into uh, RAM. So this way the the system will keep them running. Uh, so you won't uh, automatic it won't automatically close them if if it's low on RAM. Um, and you can of course uh, swipe up to get rid of the applications. And you can also tap this button to close all the applications. So, now that we're here in the launcher, uh, you will notice uh, probably first that there is no app drawer here. There's no icon to go to the app drawer at least. Uh, this is because this launcher is a single layer launcher. And that means you do not have an app, app uh, drawer. All the applications are on this this screen. It's a bit like uh, what Apple has, but sort of with widgets and more rearrangeability, but even close to what MIUI and some other Chinese ROMs now have as well. 
And uh, actually, I think reading the forums, most people don't like this edition or change, let's say. And I'm one of them. But I guess this is only a testing phase. So I believe Oppo will uh, basically check public opinion on this and then uh, go with whatever people prefer most. So let's hope that the app drawer comes back. Anyway, if you want the app drawer back, you can just install a third party launcher like Nova Launcher or whatever you prefer. As long as it has an app, uh, but as long as it's not a single layer launcher, it should do the trick. So, coming back to what we have here, uh, as you already saw, this kind of blur effect is visually what is following us through all of this um, new Colorless 2.0 style. So the second place where that appears is you can you can set it in the settings and if you have it enabled then double tapping an empty part of the screen will blur the background picture. I guess this is sort of a gimmick but it's it's also kind of cool for some background pictures it does make some things nicer and the icons do pop a lot more this way. So there you have it. Uh, not a big game changer but but it's it's there. And then also if you open up a folder, again this is pretty standard Colors 2.0 material here, but uh, you have this blur background behind folders as well. And uh, the fourth place, which is my favorite, is this new screen where you can power your phone off. So you can see that this is a it's basically the same thing as it was in, in a box. Nothing new added here other than just a visual refresh. And I think it looks very good. I really like this one. So, let's continue. Um, let's continue with checking out the um, icons. As you can see, they have been redesigned. Um, they are a bit flatter. You can see it on the camera, for example. I mean, this camera icon... It used to be so detailed that on the ring around the the lens, it was written designed by Oppo or something like that. So way too much stuff on an icon, I guess. But since this trend of flattening things and making it uh, making them simple have uh, started, I believe Oppo has taken uh, or is taking part of that trend as well. And uh, icons are more flat now, and and it gets a bit less crowded. So. Uh, the same thing holds for widgets. There you have a calendar widget. It's more square, I guess, more flat. Uh, and then here you have the other two widgets, which are, again, a slightly more uh, 2D, I guess. Uh, but still keeping that Oppo DNA, which um, I guess it's a good thing. So you still have exclusive spaces uh, if you want to have those. And let's go on to checking out the settings here in the launcher. Um, so now you have, since you have all of your applications here, uh, going into this settings thing, you can either long press by the way, or you can just hit the menu as always, this hasn't changed. Uh, so you have all of your applications and this is actually where you can conveniently uninstall things. From So uh, if I wanted to uninstall a user application, I could just uninstall my Swift key here, which of course I installed. I cannot install my system applications from here, which is pretty pretty obvious. And also nicely, these widgets also get that little, little X there, so uh, getting rid of them should be pretty easy as well. And another thing to add, which is uh, I guess a, a sort of a simplification, and uh, it might not seem like the best idea ever at first, but it is pretty convenient. I think if you want to add something, you don't have to add a new screen. You just add it like this. And then automatically the next new screen appears. So if you want to have an empty screen between the two things, that's not going to work. So if you go back like that, you see it, it takes the empty screens out. But um, I guess that's not a huge deal breaker. And it makes the launcher set up somewhat simpler so i guess for me at least that's that's a good thing so if i haven't forgotten anything all oh right i i have forgotten uh, for example let's check out the calendar application you can see that the system apps themselves have been redesigned uh, i'm not going to go into each and each one of them but uh, they all have this sort of new more fresh look than what they used to have 
but still keeping that DNA there. So also the uh, preloaded applications have changed. As far as I can tell, there is no Facebook now preloaded, which I think is a good thing. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the Facebook application, especially not if it, not if it comes pre-installed on my phone. And also there's no, I think, game loft or whatever that was. So no no games pre-installed. So less, less bloatware, which I think is a good thing. It does have Google Keep now, but I believe that's part of the Google um, package. So not really an Oppo choice, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there you have it. Less less bloat, I believe. So that's a good thing, in my opinion at least. I can download my own games if I want to. So there you have it. Um, like the video if you liked it. And uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos regularly. Um, should be pretty informative if you're into Oppo. And um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Google+. Plus. I have a Facebook group, which is in Hungarian only. So uh, only follow that or like that if you speak Hungarian. And I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.